Hello again, I am Jim Bob and welcome back to Construction Simulator 2. We have more uh, concrete to pour, so let's uh, jump straight onto that. Goddamn camera. Ah, <laughs> it wouldn't be an episode without me moaning about the, the camera. Okay, I want another one of these static elements. We don't need our uh, pipe for this. I'm actually quite surprised. I figured we would probably need the concrete pump uh, for a lot of this, but uh, I suppose we could use it, but you know, the, the hassle of getting it all set up and moving the pipe around, you know, this is just as easy for these particular elements. They're, they're, they're straightforward little sort of boxes for us to just sort of fill up. Not exactly complicated. Let's spin around so we can do it on the other side. And we've still got plenty of concrete in the back of the mixer as well. So uh, no ro uh, risk or worry of running out on this job. There we go. Uh, clear the area. I'm guessing we're going to have more concrete to pour. Uh, no, that's it. By the look of it, last of the concrete. Uh, more excavating. Excavate the marked area. Ah, over there. Okay, so do we have an excavator over here? No, we don't. We need to bring that with us. So let's jump into the excavator. And it's been suggested that uh, I replace, well not necessarily replace, but uh, I get a large dump trailer for my Mac Titan tractor here. Um, I think I might do that. I don't know if I'll do it for this particular job, but it is something we'll definitely look at for the future when we've got some more excavating to do. Uh, we'll, we'll definitely look at getting one of those large, longer trailers so we can really kind of go to town with uh, filling up the uh, filling up the bucket really quickly not the bucket sorry the trailer so let's get this into the com uh, compound so we can start excavating The only downside to these uh, bits of equipment is just how slow they are. They start at three miles an hour and they take an eternity to kind of get up to speed. And then every time you uh, you kind of play around with the tracks a little bit so you can turn direction, it immediately slows you back down to three again once you get started. <clears throat> Not a particularly big hole and I'm guessing we're going to have a few of these to do. forward okay and we're gonna need the dump truck as well uh, wrong button there we go so we'll use this for the rest of this job and then as I say going forward we'll look at getting all those long extended trailers for the uh, for the Mac Titan let's take this over to the construction site
There we go. Uh, so let's pan the camera so we can see what we're doing. There we go. Uh, This shouldn't take very long at all with our earth moving skills maxed out and uh, you know the largest excavator available. We should get through this pretty quickly. And there is something just, I don't know how to describe it, just simply you know, very simplistic and, and quite satisfying about <coughs> doing this excavating work like this. Just, <coughs> just sort of pivoting around like this and just digging up huge chunks of earth. It's, it's, it's quite, you know, relaxing in some ways very strangely sort of satisfying to just sit there and do this uh, I need to empty that out there we go the rest of the bucket empty my nice neat start has kind of fallen apart <laughs> but we can correct that there we go we're still not too far off uh, the guidelines There we go, last bucket. Oops. <laughs> Just dug a hole instead of scooping up what was left. Never mind. Um, so I need to, what, reverse from here, I'm guessing. This is another area to excavate. Ah, we have uh, a drainage channel by the look of it. Uh, so we need some steel vertical beams from the steelworks. Uh, we don't have everything unlocked skill-wise for that yet, but I think we might be able to get these delivered. Let's see. It's a steelworks. So let's head into the steelworks here so we can actually get what we need delivered. Uh, so we need for the task only, and the complete job is just this. So let's order two of these on 10% sale as well, which is quite nice. Ah, there we go. You see, now, now that we took that extra skill point in this category, we can deliver straight to the construction site. Uh, and then the final one would be to auto-load to go. So we take the truck down there and instantly load the truck up. That'll be uh, a cheaper way of doing it. We don't have to pay for delivery that way. Task completed. Clear the area again. Let's empty that out first of all. And now move this out of the way. Oh wow, that, uh, that sprang up pretty quickly. I clear the area again. <laughs> um, uh, we're going to be in danger of getting all of our equipment trapped at this rate. 
sculpt the terrain as shown. Oh, we just basically got to fill the uh, fill in the pit. Okay, so uh, we have our dozer over here, so we can use that for that. Back this out of the way. See what I'm doing. I'm wedged. There we go. Oh, of course, the camera has reset because <laughs> I moved from one vehicle to another. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to bring the arm back in. I couldn't have the right control for that for a moment then. So I'll move this into the sort of entrance way, bring the doze around and attack that uh, big pile of dirt, do some pushing. There we go. Let's jump into the dozer. I do kind of like the noise this thing makes as it kind of chugs along. Let's try and zoom this in a bit. There we go. So, uh, I suppose we just go straight down the middle first of all. Well, that was easy. <laughs> I thought that was going to be a bit harder than that. A bit more involved. Nope, that was nice and straightforward. Uh, clear the area of the concrete mixer and the dump truck. So, yeah, our equipment is on the wrong side. Uh, okay. Let's start with a concrete mixer. Okay, we have recurring monthly dis... Oh. Okay, I thought we got rid of all of our leased equipment. I'm not sure what is leased, actually. I'll check that in a moment. Get this job done first. And that finished off. And then we can figure out exactly where we are. Okay, so we need to get in the crane. Where are my objects? Are they already there? Oh yeah, they're already there, look. So 
So, uh, what are these roof panels? Well, it says walls, so I'm guessing these go on the sides. Uh, I'm trying to get the camera to position where I can actually. I forgot there's a hook camera, isn't there? I'm not trying to decouple my load. Okay, there we go. Hook camera. Let's zoom in a bit. Uh, ah, ah, wait, no. Blue sides. So, all the way over there, look. Okay, so our crane's going to be pretty much the edgy rich reach. This might not be big enough for this job. It's not. We can't actually do this with this particular crane. Uh, we need a new crane. Okay, let's check out the motorball because I want to see if something is leased. I thought we'd returned anything that was leased. Yeah. Okay, so nothing leased. Uh, I do want to buy the other crane though. Uh, I'm hoping we have access to that now. Let's uh, have a look. Might have to do the next job or the next area to get that crane. I can't remember if it's going to be locked off. There's that uh, oh, uh, large dump truck that someone was telling me about. That one or this one, actually. Either of those would work. Uh, let's see the difference between the two. Oh, big difference. We've got the W Builder. can only carry... Uh, 25 cubic meters, whereas the uh, the Myler can carry uh, 36 cubic meters, so uh, 11 cubic meters more. Same price, uh, same uh, you know lease cost and repair costs, etc. It's just you know a much bigger trailer. Damn it! I quit out the store too soon. Uh, we can, by the look of it, actually get the other crane, which is good. Something a little bit, a little bit larger. This one here. Uh, we can't get the biggest crane, the tower crane, but we can get that one. So let's buy that. Okay. So we need to get rid of our crane. So let's reset the vehicle and store it in the hall. Okay, and now it's going to offer us a choice. It is. There we go. So we've got the small one we have been using. Now we've got the larger 81K. Oh, this thing is big. I can tell that because it's just I feel way higher, <laughs> up a lot higher on this one. It's faster as well. It's a lot faster. Right, so. Let's try and rehook onto the piece that we dropped. Hook camera for this. Oh wow! Look how close that thing gets. Uh, I need to zoom out a bit. Oh, it's because we're up against the building. That's why. That's better. Now I can see what I'm doing. So the hook is actually inside. Or oh, the hook point is inside. That's going to make this a bit trickier. So uh, I need to raise the hook up. it back, drop it down, oh, whoa, that was a bit unexpected, let's try that again, this is going to be really tricky to get this,
And it's throwing me off. I might not be able to get this piece out. I might have to start actually restart this part of the job. That one might be trapped in there. Yeah, it's not letting me hook onto it. We're going to have to restart this part, I think, because I can't go in through the top. And the way it's positioned there, I can't grab it. Uh, I wonder if I can ram it out of the way. Ah, there we go. Managed to knock it over. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> this thing is taking a bit of getting used to because it's it's a bit more sensitive than the last one. It's a lot faster to respond as well. I'm kind of trying to get used to that. There we go. Right, got it rehooked. So let's try this again. <laughs> oh god, these glitches. <laughs> ah dear, oh dear. Okay, so that's the uh, the top piece there. I was hoping that was actually the lower piece. It's hard to tell sometimes with the camera angle. There we go, are we going to get any more acrobatics or gymnastics? Nope. Okay, there we go, kind of facing roughly the right direction, that'll make this bit easier. Hope. There we go. So we have one part of the wall up. We still have three more to do. Can't see a damn thing. Ah, oh. I was in the right spot for a second then. Now, again, I have no idea where I am. 
Alright. Let's get it lifted up properly this time. There we go. Right, finally. This is actually trickier than it looks trying to get these pieces around the back because the camera is not very friendly in that area. As I say, this crane is a lot more uh, sensitive than I'm used to. Plus, it also has this annoying habit of getting stuck around the far side. Uh, I need to push that forward. Rotate the cargo. So easy to catch it on something. There we go. One more awkward bit to do, and then the other two pieces on the uh, on the corner facing us right now will be much easier, I'm sure. Let's see if I can see where the hooks are now with the light. It's just in front of us. There. This is it for the entire job, so we aren't going to have any more roof panels to place. This might well be the very last stage of the job, actually. What? Another little weird glitch. I <laughs> actually managed to... Uh Put the hook into the ground for a second then, and uh, make the panel completely disappear. I'm having to try and reverse the controls in my head because I've got the camera facing in the opposite direction so I can... <clears throat> see what's going on around here which is why I keep pushing the crane forward in the wrong direction or raising it when I should be lowering it let's try and get this rotated round a bit there we go so I want to go that way Pull back, no, that's pull back. There we go, right. So that's the uh, the difficult bit, I hope. <coughs> From this angle, these two pan panels should go on a fair bit easier. 
I won't have to try and reverse the controls in my head. Should be uh, reasonably straightforward. Of course, you know, famous last words and all that. We'll see how we go. That's the wrong one. I want the top panel, if I can. Or bottom panel, sorry. The crane doesn't want to... There we go. I'm hooked. There we go. Now I can move. Got caught on the framework there. go. Job is done. And there we go. We have successfully completed the job large industrial hall. We got a total payout of 485,700 or so, 800. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, a decent payout on an experience as well, about 9,000 and change. We're up to level 15. Have we got another skill points? Let's have a look. We do. Uh, I'm going to put that into wear skills because we are wearing out our vehicles pretty quickly. There we go. And uh, we need a new contract for the next time out as well. Let's have a look, see what we have. Uh, now, someone has said to me, actually, uh, that they did the uh, the big giant mall job and then did two other jobs and then the mall job was available to take again. Well, we've done two jobs now. Let's see, is the mall back? No, it's still... I mean, we could take it on again, look, but uh, we've completed it. We've actually got some new ones here, look. We've got Kirsten's Feel Good Diner. Uh, Deer Road, or District Road Construction. That one we already knew about. So these are the two new ones. Expanding to North Ridge and the Feel Good Diner. I think we'll do the Feel Good Diner next time out. Uh, let's take a quick look at what that in entails. Excavation and canal works. Earth moving, paving asphalts, concrete work. Placing walls, placing walls. Pick up the mascot. Oh, that would be cool. Um... Yeah, so a good selection of most of our equipment there, including the paving stuff. So, uh, yeah, I think we'll take this job on. This will be our next job, Kirsten's Feel Good Diner. So, uh, yeah, thanks for that. I will be back with some more Construction Simulator 2 here on the PS4 very soon.